coming at you on this beautiful uh, Monday here. Let the dogs in. And then we're going to uh, check some mail. I believe we got some six liter parts in today so we can do some more race car stuff. Here comes Emmy. Come on, Emmy. Let the old girls out. We got OG Britta Johnson here. She's like 107.5. She's my girl though. So let's go out of the mailbox and see what's cracking. This is RC Con bead locks. Gotta test them out on the back of old school. Make sure I like them. They ain't cheap. So, but anyway, sitting under slumber, but she looking good doing it. It's another one of our projects, Corey's car, Papa Smurf. You'll be seeing more of her real soon. sitting on deck. Hell yeah. We've got a mailbox full of goodies. It's always a good day. A little humble abode. Back shops where the magic goes down. Where the projects are at. And of course up front here is the mine off. It's the Aaron Cartwright Mobile. Looks like a storage facility right now. But uh, we're gonna have him fixed up here soon. That way we can bring Gambler home. And uh, Eric can have Aaron can have his hot rod back. He'll be tickled to death. So, let's see what we got here. I'm gonna get some stuff to open this up with and I'll be back. All right. I had to get the Mountain Dew. That's that Cody Myers race fuel for the soul. So, we got our Molly rings in for the six liter for old school. So that's what I'm gonna run in there right there. We'll, we'll file fit them, put a little gap in them the way I like them to be. And then uh, we'll be rocking. This is the ARP rocker stud kit that ARP makes for these things, dude. It's a dope little setup. All, you know, good metal hardened ARP stuff, stud screws into the head, then you use the nut to, uh, torque down the rocker arm and stuff. I put these on the haunted motor. I love them. They fit good. They're just, they're sweet, super sweet deal. So I had to have me a set for my six liter. And then of course we got the ARP rod bolts for her also. So just a few of the pieces that have come in. We got a whole boatload more that'll be in this week. But by the end of the week, we should have everything on site to, uh, to really start making a dent on this six liter deal and start getting this bad dude built and in the car. So we've been stacking, stacking, stacking. I've been picking up stuff. Every chance I get, every deal I come across, we've been rocking. So hopefully for too long here, after we get the six liter built, we can yank this old 5.3 out, which is a, it's a good running humble little motor right here. I'm super happy with it. I ain't taking it out because I'm disappointed. I'm just prepping for the future and making sure we're bringing the game we need to bring this year. So I got plans for this one too though. But old school's definitely got a 6.0 in her future and it's gonna be soon. So. But that's it for now. Myers racing in the house, homies. T.
Team Ohio Grudge, CIA Performance. Old school, baby. See y'all soon. And let me not forget the baddest prep in the game, hands down, without question. If you don't know, you better figure it out. Best dudes in the game when it comes to prep. Brian and his boys, they're awesome. Much love, much appreciation to you guys. Smear, and the beadlock RC comps. Got the jack and everything out of the back shop. Get the thing up in there and we're gonna stick these things on, see how they fit, see how they look. And then we will go from there. I'll be back with you guys in just a bit. Well, I got her in there. Got the radials aired up on the wheels. But I let a buddy borrow my wheel lock little dealio here, my wheel socket. So I gotta wait for him to show up and then we can get these things swapped out and see how they fit, see how they look. So we're making progress, slow but steady. So we'll be back. Well, after waiting on my douchebag buddy for hours and him not showing up on me, Gotta love it. I did not get my wheel lock tool back that I loaned out. But the good thing about being a technician by trade is I've wasted tons of money on stupid shit like this. Master wheel lock kit. And luckily, it had the fellow I needed. So, boom. Wheels are on finally. After wasting a ton of damn time. But, I can't lie, they look pretty tough up there. So, I'm digging it. I didn't have a great set of lug nuts, but I did have some that'll work. And was at least able to allow me to get them on. So, I will put a better set of lug nuts on, obviously, but the fitment's good. They look great. Aside from the crusty ass lug nuts, we got a working gig there. They fit on the car good. Plenty of room inside, outside the cars. Mini tubbed. A lot of tubbed. It's tubbed. So anyway, plenty of room both sides. Uh, don't stick too far under, too far out. I mean like literally, they fit good. So it's weird seeing all the shininess on the fair lane like that, you know what I mean? But uh, it's different. So, whoop, whoop, there it is. So I'm gonna finish cleaning a few more things up, wrap it up for tonight. We'll get back on it tomorrow. But uh, I'm happy with them. See you guys tomorrow.